right, so I saw some stuff on MSNBC that was really, you know, annoying and irritating. So I'll share it with you. Americans are concerned David. with. Stacey, I'm curious, as the Republicans pursue these tactics, whether you sense a, a growing fear on the Republicans' part that they're going to lose the House next year, that the American people are getting fed up with the time wasting, the inability to make the House process work. Do you, do you sense that from your Republican colleagues? Um, I sense chaos on their part, um, whether or not they're concerned with losing the House or not. I think they're more concerned with burning down the House <laughs> than they are with losing the House. Really, um, it's frightening. There are, of course, members, uh, colleagues who will take you to the side and be like, what you're doing to try and stop what's happening on weaponization is correct keep on doing it. That's their own colleagues telling me that um, in the corridors, in on the floor, privately. Uh, they're concerned that they are not getting done anything demonstrable that they're going to be able to show. Think about what Democrats did in the last Congress. In the last, in the first six months, we were able to get through the bipartisan infrastructure plan, uh, the American Rescue Plan, the CHIPS Act, bringing down insulin, what have they accomplished with having a control of the House? Absolutely nothing. All right, Democratic Delegate Stacey Plaskett of the U.S. Virgin Islands, thank you for coming in, and yeah. it's great it's to, so see to see you. We'll be watching what happens Happy at the hearing today. To yes, same to you. Thanks. It's now in studio, CNBC's Squawk Box host, our good friend Andrew Ross Sorkin. Andrew, the man of... The Twitter files, which Republicans cite as evidence that the social media site was uh, censored right-wing voices under its own... The Twitter files, which Republicans cite as evidence that the social media site was uh, censored right-wing voices under its old ownership. So it's good to have you on the set. Nice yeah, to see you. Speaking of Elon Musk, right? Speaking of Elon mm -hmm. Musk, what do we expect to see today at the hearing? Well, what's really so disappointing is this is a hearing that we've already had, mm -hmm. and they are bringing the same witnesses then they're doing that because they have no other information. They've done 29 closed-door interviews of yeah. individuals who have said there is no conspiracy, that there was no, uh, and this is not just government officials, this is also individuals at these social media platforms who've been interviewed behind closed doors. So what does my good chief... All right, so right off the bat, this woman is a stupid fucking cunt. Our man Jim Jordan do, he brings out the witnesses that he believes are going to speak on his behalf. But us Democrats have decided that we're not going to continue playing this game with them. When we have a weaponization hearing, we are going to talk about the true weaponization of the federal government. This time we're going to have Olivia Troy, who's going to come and talk about the weaponization during the Trump administration, and what do we expect in the next one. And each time we have a hearing, us Democrats are going to talk about the true weaponization of the federal government and bring in former Trump officials to talk about exactly what the former president would do in a new administration. So on a related matter about so, using government. So they're going to they're going to tell us what the what Trump is going to do in his own administration. What these people are going to tell what these people are thinking the Democrats and these people that I I know like in my own family and in amongst my friends these fucking retards think that Trump is going to try to like be like Hitler and take control of America and be a dictator and never relinquish power even though he's fucking like almost 80 years old he's probably going to die in like the next 10 or 15 years he's not going to fucking try to take over like these people are actually trying to instill like really make this the narrative and instill fear into young people and it's actually working and even adults like some fucking stupid ass motherfucking people that I know uh, like really believe this shit and they're adults and have like like they have they're married and have kids and houses and they actually believe this shit they believe Trump is going to try and seize power and be a dictator and like take over like Stalin or fucking Hitler and reign for fucking 100 years even though he's fucking 80 years old and gonna die soon probably He's not going to do that. He He's going to serve for four years. If he wins, he'll serve four years. And then he'll be, that's it. Nobody. He's not going to try to 
he has never made any statement saying that he's going to try to, like, if he did, he was joking, obviously, and they just took it out of context, but this is, like, unbelievably ridiculous gaslighting and brainwashing and propaganda from MSNBC and CNN and the left and the Democrats. You guys are all, like, horrific pieces of shit, and if there is a civil war, um... I hope you're all slaughtered and killed, and I hope only the people that oppose you survive and believe what I believe survive, because you guys are fucking retarded and stupid, and, and you have, you know, I'm, I'm name-calling, but I already laid down the facts for you, so I can name-call after I've laid down the facts. So yeah, these guys are fucking stupid, especially that... that Dummy, what's his name? The Lawrence guy, Lawrence O'Donnell, on fucking CNN. That guy is, <laughs> he if he is not getting paid by the State Department of the United States, like he must be getting paid like a lot of money by the State Department. Either that, or he's fucking stupid and he's not getting paid, and he's just like being a talking head for them just to get some shitty salary from MSNBC. Uh, I don't know. He's a, he's a real traitor. He should be held for treason and he should, be, he should be shot and hanged. And his family should also be, you know, imprisoned. Uh, that's what I think of you, Lawrence O'Donnell. And, uh, yeah, Brian Stelter, we, we got Brian Stelter, we took him down, we got Don Lemon out of there. You know, we took them down. That was a great success. We gotta keep doing it. Get these guys too. You're next, Lawrence O'Donnell. You're next. All you motherfuckers at MSNBC, Rachel Maddow, you guys are next. You're coming. You're going down.